Hi, this is Manish Pandey. In this video, we will learn about the native functions. Blue Prism inbuilt functions are called Blue Prism native functions. So, we will start learning all these functions. First, we will start with conversion. We will work with all the conversion function. We are going to use this excel file and we will start from here so that we can get data from excel and then we can take the data from that excel and then we can apply conversion function. Now, here you can see we have this functions. So, in this video you will learn conversion function. So, we have two date function, two date time, two days, two hours, two minutes, two number, two seconds, two time. Let me set next stage to this start and then step over. Now, we have this data in this collection. You can see we have 5 records. Now, we are going to start with the conversion. So, first we will see two date, two date function. Two date function converts a text value to date. So, here in the expression of this two date decision stage, we have orders underscore call dot order date. In this collection, we have this order date, which this is the fill name where we from where we want to get the date and then less than today. So, we are going to check is this date a less than today. Now, click on next. So, here we are getting this error message that is can't compare text. So, we are not able to compare the text. So, the date that we are getting here if you can see here in the collection in the current value this is the date that we are getting in this text data type. If you see here we have passed the data in this excel file in this format 01-01-2022 and this is a date format, but while getting this data into the collection we are getting in this way and this is storing in the text data type. Here we are trying to check that this date is less than today if yes it should go next if no it should go to this note. Now, this is throwing an error. So, how can we fix that? So, to fix this type issue we have a function called to date. So, we will double click on this and now here we have to convert this value to date. So, we will write here to date and then open bracket and then here you can put a close bracket. Now, this to date will convert this value, this text value to date. Now, one more thing you need to always remember whenever you are going to apply a function type here manually. I know that you can just go and you can click on this to date, you can put the, the text value and then you can paste. So, what will happen? You will not able to remember that like you will be used to do in the same way. You will just go and click on find uh, those functions which is required and then you will click on that put the value and paste. But what happens if you are applying for a certificate exam they can also give you the, the option to put the function name manually you need to type that function name manually. So, here you need to also remember that this is case sensitive. So, if you are going to put in this way that will not work. You can see here if I am going to validate it says that undefined function. So, it means if you are typing here so you will able to remember that. So, put here like this T in the caps O in the small letter again D in the caps and then other will be in the small and then now if you click on validate it says that expression is valid. Now, click OK if you we'll click on a step and you can see now we are going to next it means this date is less than today. Let me put here greater than. So, is this date is 
greater than today so it will go to this side set next stage and now it's going to know so by this way we can convert a text value to a date now we'll talk about two date time in this main page in this order collection we have this date which is order date and now you can see this order date that we have is in the date type format and this is a text value so it has stored this value in a text but this is a date time let me put some value here so let's say um, 10 let me click ok so now we have date now if we we'll go to this conversion right click set next stage now here if we we'll click on a step we are getting an error that says that can't compare text why we are not able to compare because we have this date that is coming in the text data type so we are not able to compare this text data type with the date so here is not able to convert so what we can do so to overcome this issue we need to convert this to date time then we will able to check this here so what we can do you need to put here to date and then time open and here you can put close bracket you can see this is our second function of this conversion to date time this is used to convert a text value to a date time so here it will convert this value to date time now click ok and now step so once you click on step now you can see here it's going to next stage it means this worked fine so yes this is less than today because the current date and time is 1 1 2022 so yes this is previous than today's date time 